My name is Emma Carmody. I'm a senior solicitor at EDO New South Wales. I also serve as legal advisor to the Secretariat of the Ramsar Convention on Wetlands in Switzerland, and I'm a visiting fellow in the Faculty of Law at the University of New South Wales. I've come to develop particular expertise in water law and policy over the years. Most people don't realise that our Commonwealth water laws derive their constitutional validity from the suite of environmental treaties that Australia has signed. Key amongst these is the Ramsar Convention on Wetlands. Australia was one of the first signatories of this convention. Without this treaty, we probably wouldn't have the Water Act and the Basin Plan. For me as a water lawyer, there's therefore a terrible irony in seeing these wetlands being deprived of the water that they need under the Water Act and the Basin Plan. In fact, a series of amendments to the Water Act and to the Basin Plan this year will mean that two core Ramsar wetlands in the Murray-Darling Basin, two of the 16, will actually receive less water than they would have otherwise received under the Basin Plan. And those two wetlands are the Gwaita Wetlands and the Macquarie Marshes, both in the Northern Basin.